Good day everyone, I am Angelica Lambi CPE Level 2. For today's video, I will be discussing result annotation of Morgas Successes de las Islas Filipinas. The original title of this book is Successes de las Islas Filipinas for El Dr. Antonio de Morga, obra publicada en México en el año de 1609, nuevamente sacada a luz y anotada por José Rizal, y presidida de un prologo del profesor Fernando Blumentritt. In English, Events in the Philippine Island by Dr. Antonio de Morga, a work published in Mexico in the year 1609, reprinted and annotated by Jose Rizal, presented by the introduction by Professor Ferdinand Blumentritt. First, let's have some definition of the key term related to my discussion. Annotation is a note of explanation or comment added to a text or diagram Successes is an events, happenings, or occurrences. Las Islas Filipinas is the Philippine island. So, who is Antonio de Morga? Antonio de Morga is the author of Successes de las Islas Filipinas. He was a Spanish soldier, lawyer, and high-ranking colonial for 43 years in the Philippines, in 1594-1604. to 1604. He wrote the first lay formal history of the Philippines contest by Spain. He is a doctorate in canon and civil law. Also, he is a historical anthropologist. So what is Successos de las Islas Filipinas? Successos de las Islas Filipinas is one of the important works of the Philippines about the colonization of Spain, published by Antonio de Morga in 1609. It explained the political, social, and economical aspect of a colonizer in the colonized country, which is our country, the Philippines. The book is based on the experience and observation of Antonio de Morga. It annotated by Jose Rizal with a prologue by Dr. Ferdinand Blumentritt, which is Dr. Ferdinand Blumentritt is the best friend of Jose Rizal. The Purpose of Successos de las Islas Filipinas Morga wrote that the purpose for writing successes was so he could chronicle the deeds achieved by our Spaniards, the discovery, conquest, and conversion of the Filipino Islands, as well as various fortunes that they have from time to time in the great kingdoms and among the pagan people surrounding the islands. So why did Rizal annotated Morga's work? Well, Rizal has three purposes of annotating Morga's work. First is to awaken the consciousness of the Filipinos regarding their glorious ways of the past. Second is to correct what has been distorted about the Philippines due to Spanish conquest. Last is to prove that the Filipinos are civilized or advanced even before the coming of the Spaniard. Why does Rizal choose Morga's work? Rizal choose this book because the author is to be more objective than the other religious writers and Morgo was more sympathetic to the Indians and he was not only an eyewitness but a major actor in the events he narrates and also the original book was read that time. Now let's talk about the state of the Philippines during the pre-colonial period by comparing the point of views of Morga and Rizal. Both of them had different perspectives concerning geography, culture and society, faith and economy during the pre-colonial period. Rizal agreed to some of Morga's opinion and did not agree to some. What are the importance of Rizal annotations? 
First is to reduce those Filipinos who denied their native tongue into rotten fish. Probe Filipinos had a culture of their own prior to colonization that the Filipinos were not inferior to the white man to shatter the myth of the so-called indolence of the Filipinos. Last is to embrace the generic term Indio or in today's case Filipino with all its negative connotation and turn it into one of dignity and nobility.